holler and holler back. Holler back. Joey Hollenbeck. All right, everyone. How good is a chalupa? It sounds right so now? good. Oh, bro. I want a chalupa. I want to go hit up all the free. I want to go to Cole Street. I want to go to no, I don't want to go to Take me to Mazalon. Mazalon Mexico. first. I get it. No, then, just Mazalon, Mexico for a Holland with Holland. Holland with Holland chalupa. Maybe we'll do a live over there one time. But uh, now you're talking. Here hey, we go. I would recommend beer if you go there because their mixed <laughs> drinks are stiff. <laughs> if this is the first time you're listening to this, these two guys just randomly chat in your ear, let me introduce you. Let me introduce myself to you and Joey to you. I'm Travis Kenny, full buddy cast. Been doing this for four years. About a year ago, started a podcast with my buddy Joey. Hi. That holler with Hollenbeck. He's the Hollenbeck of that. <laughs> this guy used to play football nonstop. So we're going to talk a lot, a lot about football. He was he was a Coug. He was also, we know each other, through, Go Cougs. through Ian McClaw High School. So we went to school together and all that. Uh, but also went on to play Buffalo. When, got, did you now, you got signed with the Rams right out? Right yep. out the gate? Rams, Bills, Seahawks. Rams, Bills, Seahawks. Denver. Uh, did anyone see? I was, I would, I would have loved to got a paycheck. If I was a guy cutting the paycheck, did anyone do this? You would know this. Right. Uh, paying the Bills. Did anyone walk around when they when they handed you when they because you were a bill? Did they ever hand you the no. check and say, "Hey, just paying the bills over no. here"? No, no, nobody ever said that. <laughs> I would have loved that. I would have loved that. I mean, hey, just paying the bills. Here you go. Um, anyway, we're gonna talk about random stuff tonight. Uh, we haven't seen each other for a while, but I got I got to remind you guys something. Okay, we're in the middle of a pandemic. We're we're in the middle of uh, Pac-12 starting here this weekend. Pac-12 starting here this weekend. Go Cougars! Joey just punched the wall. Joey just put his fist through the wall. But uh, and then we got election results going crazy. Like there's like this is like I feel like what's the date? We're almost out of 2020, but it just feels like we're so far away from being out of 2020. It is nuts right now. It, it, this is the most I've actually probably texted anyone in my entire life. This year, uh, messaged people, talked to people. I mean, even though we're in COVID land, it's like this is probably the most I've ever interacted with anybody in my entire life, doing lives and doing all that. It's just crazy, just nuts. But what I'm trying to explain to you is this. I know last week we said, hey, we are going to do a uh, Cougar podcast. That is still going to happen. That is still going to happen. But this week is a little different. Hold on. I think that what we decided was it is still going to happen. It's still happening. It's we're still 100% doing it. happening. But we're but, but this week, head into game one, we're going to talk a little bit about it at the end of this podcast. Yep. We're combining this this podcast. It's going to be a Hollering with Hollenbeck with uh, – we are Hollering with the Cougs. Cougs. Hollering yeah. with the Coug. Cougin' it. Hollering with the Coug. Cougin' it. What do you think? No. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Hollering with a coog. Cooging it? That means you're going to shit the bed. <laughs> I, I, I'm so sick of this guy. I don't, I don't think we say <laughs> I don't think we say holler with a coog because it sounds like we're hitting on MILFs. Just hitting in the bars and we're just like, hey, <laughs> oh, what, whoa, whoa. what up? Whoa. Yeah. Holler with a coog. Can't do that. Just, just bringing just like 55-year-old women. Non- they're our guests. You don't like listeners? <laughs> we, we may have stumbled upon gold. If you guys were, if you guys were expecting a college football podcast, that ain't happening anymore. No, yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> I'm trying to talk to a bunch of swamp donkeys on this thing. Just every week they're turning in thinking they're getting college football. <laughs> We're just like, you went to Oregon State. <laughs> just, just, just kooks from all over the Pac-12. <laughs> just talk to, just bring him in and talk to him. Just get a black leather couch. Get really weird with it. <laughs> I'll pull the one that's been outside your door for seven years into the I, podcast room. I finally tossed it. It's gone. <laughs> I threw it away. It's How gone. How heavy was that? It thing? was heavy. It was so, so wonderful. All you listeners that don't know, Travis used to have a black pleather couch 
that sat outside the podcast room in the weather for probably like well every every time we, we've been doing it for almost over a year we've been doing it for well over a year now with our podcast that couch was literally just sitting out there, there taking the weather i that oh. thing had to weigh two tons it was it was just it was get a crane in here and then just crane it out helicopter the thing how out. did you pack it how did you pack it out muscles how just, heavy was it was was it so we, heavy do we waited until like oh, it you waited like, till it was august july 31st august? just <laughs> bone dry but you still it that was, thing just definite fire hazard <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're living in a freaking we're living in a freaking pandemic right now, guys. So anyway, we're gonna do it. We're we're gonna so we're gonna at the end of are this we podcast, we're gonna do it. Are we though? Yes, we are. I'm talking about the pandemic. I don't know if we're ever gonna Hey, real it. quick. You know what? Before we dive into any of this, I I've 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 been reached out to multiple times. Yeah. I have multiple questions for you what? for this podcast, but I've been reached out to multiple times on the Holland with Hollenbeck Coog t shirts. What's up with us? Where's your boat? It has nothing to do with the boat. Yeah. Well, just, no, you set it up. I know where the boat's going to be. Okay. You tell me. Where, all right. So, all you right. tell me. We'll talk, you set that up. We'll talk about you're it. The, we'll, you're talk, the, we'll talk about it afterwards. Talk about it after, uh, no, <laughs> screw, <laughs> screw you. I'm sick of listening to you <laughs> say, we're going to talk about this afterwards. <laughs> you know, we should put that on the shirt. It's on the, on the bo- bottom <laughs> lower rocker. We'll, we'll talk I'm about it afterwards. Talk about it the, <laughs> <laughs> <out> the <air. laughs> <clears throat> so stupid. All right, um, real quick. Next question for you. I got a question for you. I'm gonna start oh, this. You, off. Oh, you got questions for me? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna start this. Off. All right. By the way, you look thin today. I look thin. You look thin. You look hungry. Thin. Thin. Layers, man. You got the layers going right now, and you're wearing capris, and that is that is a shout out to. They're you. not capris. These are actually like uh, just oh, those sweats. Like, they're sweats. Your sixth grade sweats. You found them and put them no, on. They're sweats, but you they're skinny at the bottom. If you had any style besides <laughs> your acid wash jeans, you would know. <laughs> But anyways, <laughs> going back to what I was going to ask you. <laughs> yeah. Who's, okay, the Cougs football game's coming up this weekend, right? Right. Yeah. Okay. So talk to me about this. Let's say you're having a party at your house. Okay. Day five you're inviting. No, wait. Well, hold on. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. You have maybe four or five couples coming over. Okay. Getting po- you're And you're a raging kook. Hyped. No, let's say you're a raging husky. I don't give a shit what you are. Okay. Whatever you are, yeah. Which you are probably a husky. No, cool. But at the end yeah. of the day, yeah. we're stepping away from the game. We're stepping away from uh necessarily the drinks. Okay. Tell me when I walk in and hit your island in your kitchen or your dining room table. What's going on? What is on it? What is on it? What does the spread look like oh, food man. wise? I'm so hungry right now. I know, but listen. Tell me what the spread looks like. If you invite me over to a Seahawks game, if okay. you invite me over to a Cougar football game, okay. what does the spread look like on the dining room table when I walk through the slider or the front door? Okay. What does it look like? This is what it looks like. Okay. I'm a big charcuterie board guy. So there will be about five different cheeses. And I'm not talking sharp. I'm not talking. I'm talking like uh, aged wine cheese. I'm talking like. So the shit nobody likes. No, the stuff that this no okay easy buddy, and then I got myself a nice goat goat cheese with a, with a delicious <laughs> pepper jelly, goat then, cheese. Oh, on pepper with pepper jelly. Are and, you a goat and cheese crackers. guy, bro? My wife's brought me into it. Yes, absolutely, no, dude. So I've that, tried goat cheese once in my life, and it tasted like if I was to cut a little chunk of fur off the goat and eat it. That's what I feel like it tastes. Like. Well, that's probably what you did. Uh, here's the other thing I'm doing. Okay, this is my favorite thing. One of my favorite things to have. First off. I gotta set the rest of the stage real quick, just so that you go. Okay, duh. Wings for sure. Buffalo wings off the air fryer. Okay, I got an air fryer. I love the wings off of an air fryer. Absolutely delicious. Okay, what I'm doing also is cream cheese, sour cream, garlic, real minced garlic. You just get the perfect garlic dip going and some big. Fat, thick, wavy, crispy lays, and you're just dipping that, just dipping that dip. Oh, I'm eating that. I'm so probably, is that like basically a French onion dip that you just buy like ready to go? No, no, no. You put, you get your, you get the tubs of sour cream. You get your tubs of cream cheese. Boom, boom, boom. Bunch of, bunch of, bunch of garlic. You get a whole clove. And you just chop that, mince that whole thing up. Don't, don't go get the jar. Oh, you vampire shit. Right oh, now. dude, and that is that. You will smell that as soon as you walk in, and you're gonna go, "Ooh, where's that garlic at?" And then the, finally, I'm a big cream cheese guy too. Sorry, just who I am. 
Or cream almond, cheese. Hey, uh, hey, who doesn't like a good cream cheese? Cream cheese right in the right in the middle of a plate. You're also on that cream cheese. You've dumped all over it. Uh, what's that? What's that red sauce for shrimp? For that like cocktail your, sauce? cocktail sauce all over it. Okay, and then you're taking baby cocktail sauce. Yes, and you're taking baby shrimp, and then you're sp- spreading that throughout. Nobody puts baby shrimp in a corner. Oh, no one puts, but I put it in my mouth with a cracker <laughs> with it. With, and I'm not talking like a Ritz cracker. You're a cracker. Get that out of the way. Uh, so there what you are go. You, what are you going with? A club cracker? Oh, yeah. No, okay, oh, club so, crackers. So you sure. told me two things. We're talking about I said like whole, four things, but you're, but you're on your phone. No, I'm not. We're talking about a whole dining room table. You I, said. What? Oh, please. I would love to see if you're paying <laughs> the attention. The shrimp cocktail game. Okay. Shrimp cocktail the, with the, the cream the cheese. The last thing I talked about. Shrimp yep, cocktail yep, with absolutely. the cream cheese. You said the charcuterie board yep. with uh, Bunch wine, of diff- wine oh, cheese, delicious, wine yeah. cheese, goat cheese with pepper, pepper cheeses. We'll have with we'll the, definitely with have the, like jalapeno uh, cheeses and stuff like that. Right. Yes. Okay. okay. So there's two things on the table. What else did I say? Garlic dip. Garlic dip. Just thick, too much garlic. garlic. Then what else did I say? That's all I heard. Hot wings. I said wings. Buffalo oh, yeah. wings. Air fried. Air fried air buffalo fried? wings. Absolutely delicious. Are you a big air fryer? Love. Yes. I'm intrigued by the air fryer. Is it? Do you do you have an air fryer? Yes. Do you love it? I I. You can pretty much cook anything. Anything. Right? And w- but when we still learn, it's the whole thing. The whole air fryer thing is like, ooh, ooh. You see some YouTube video or some come through, like, oh, I didn't know we could cook that in that. Kind of takes a grown man to his knees, right? It does. Makes you think like about minus it. Minus the oil. Minus the oil. What kind of radiation is L- going into crisp. that? Though? Oh, or right whatever. Now. Yeah. That's, I got copper. <laughs> 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 okay. I got copper ha- ha- helping me out. All right. All right. So talk me through this then. Last one. Oh, I can't ask you questions. It's my podcast, no, essentially. T- okay. Hollering with Travis. Go ahead. No, Coo- it's Hollering with Hollenbeck. Cool. Okay. No, your turn. Okay. I threw one out. I threw you. What do you What do you add to that? I threw you a hot coal. I was going to wonder what was in the cooler, what was uh, what oh. was for the ladies, and what's in the cooler for a Cougs game. Cougar, I, I'm definitely getting Trulies. I'm definitely getting the, the, the like, the, you know. Those type of things. Cougs don't drink truly. Girls, talking about the, for the ladies. Hey, if you're with a cook, or they don't claw. drink. They don't drink truly. Truly. Uh, or Chardonnay, because my wife loves Chardonnay. Then I'm going for me. So you have Chardonnay, and straight Trulies? IPAs, bunch of IPAs, bunch of, like Edrid. Edrid knows all the IPAs. I'm, I would call him up. He's a Coug. I'd invite him first. I'd say, Hey, he's like, What can I bring? I said, Bring the IPAs. He brought them to golf with us. Yeah, Remember word, that? Word. Yeah, yeah. So, True story. all right, what you got for me, big player? All right. Hey, Would, you look good, by the way. Thank you. I'm working hard at looking good. Okay. Um, if someone tells you that they brush their teeth longer than they shower, they brush their teeth longer. Are we talking Sonicare? So you're looking at two minutes if you're going Sonicare. Okay. I don't know if you know that or not. Are you Are you disgusted by the shower or impressed with the toothbrush? Go. Depends on what you're washing. Okay. And who you are. <laughs> when you're washing. Actually, honestly, my college roommate legit was bigger than me. Yeah. Samoan dude grew up in like California where back in the day, like the water, water shortage. shortage. Yeah. I would he would be literally like, All right, man, well, I gotta take a shower real quick, then we'll blaze. I'm like, dude, come on. He'd be like, No, let's, let me take a shower real quick. I'm like, cool. Literally, I'd be like, All right, like walk to the kitchen grab like a drink of water, turn around, and he'd be like in his towel like in the hallway. I'm like, bro. That's me. That like, is me. How, well, wait, I'm like, what, what? Okay. So you wash your nuts, armpits, hit all the proper places, yeah. and you're done. Yeah. And he was bald like you. Maybe it's a bald it's thing. It's a bald thing. When you got curls like you, me, yeah. you simply. It's, you it's you got to Bedell that soon that a little you bit. You know what, though? I've been, I'm a, uh, I lather myself up in the shower. I'm not going to lie. With a loafah? No, I don't use a lofa. Do you use lofa? No. <laughs> I use <laughs> I use just a bar soap, but I hit all the angles before I even turn back to the water. Is that weird? So I'm, I look like mm. I look like the abominable snowman in the yeah. shower until I, I turn around and hit it. So it's like gone. I suds up. See, th- to me, I like to work my way down like a car, like I'm washing a car, okay? So back when I had hair, it would be but now it starts with the beard. 
the, gotta, the water is already hitting. That. I don't need to clean. I don't need to clean this. This isn't getting dirty. This well, might get, I, that's one thing about bald people, like bald, like you, crystal clear bald. Yeah. Like you start putting soap on that, like you can see a reflection. In it. Oh, Do yeah. you want that? Though? No, no. Like, you don't want to no. wax it. Absolutely not. No, you don't want that reflection, no, right? No. So then, and then it just kind of comes down. So then the soap's hitting all over. It's 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 washing down off of you. But then I'm. At, oh, so you're claiming washing the head washes your body. It brings everything down and like suds it all down. But, that is the dumbest shit I've but, ever heard in my but life. But then I will take a, so- a bar of soap. Don't give me anything else. Bar of soap. Rub it hard. Whew. Oh, you rub it on your hand and then rub your body? Hands. Why don't I you just, just lather the- these hands? Why don't you rub the bar of soap on your body? No, because to me, then that gets the that gets the bar. Like, That's true. I go through a shit ton of. I go that. through a shit ton of soap. Yeah, I do. I go through a ton of soap, and I don't use any like liquid. No, I no. go through a ton of bar soap, dude. And you lather the hand. You you. No, I use the bar. I rub the bar soap on all me. over you. All over me. I'm picturing this right now. Go on. <laughs> These pants are getting tight. <laughs> Those pants were tight before I even showed up. <laughs> I could tell you showered. <laughs> I, but yeah, no, I su- I suds up the hands, man. I'd look like uh, if if I was like so a you just superhero. Sud- I'd have just suds so all over my hands. If you sud your hands yeah. and then you just hit one arm, then that arm that hand. I don't clean done. my arms. Why would the heck? My my arms don't get dirty. Like I don't work outside enough. Now if I'm if I'm mowing and I'm I'm weed eating, yes. You I'm, don't wash your arms. Why would I wash my arms? Gosh, I wash every arm to me every day. Yeah, I don't. I don't because it's like you know these aren't these aren't this ain't getting dirty. What's this hitting up? This isn't a t-shirt. It's What's like it it's like polishing a fine no. Lombardi trophy. It's a waste of time. No, it's like part it's like legit like a Lombardi pol- trophy. It's like legit polishing like I mean I mean on my own Lombardi trophy. I got to polish that. Thing. You look like it. I got to polish it. You got to polish it. But but you don't agree? No. No, no. You agree? You just want it, you just want like you fingerprints get, and dirt get it all clean. over it. You get the places clean that you need uh-uh. to clean. Uh-uh. Armpits for sure. Yep. Armpits for sure. Okay. The rest of it censored. Hole. That what? was way too long. That's probably as long as my shower lasted. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but then you're hitting that. You're hitting that region, and then you're done. You're just you're, at that point. You're just no, 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 no. Because no. the towel is the no. second thing. You that know what I it. don't ever hit are like my thighs no, or no, like never. my calves. Feet? I wash my feet every time I'm in the shower. Who doesn't wash their feet? I don't wash my feet unless I like mowing and weed eat and get stinky. It gets oh. stinky. Yeah, of course. But Every I'm, time I walk, I wow. have a full. I have a full thing. Start on the left arm, go all the way up, hit the armpits, underside left arm, chest, neck, all the way down. Switch hands with the soap. Go down. Go hit the toes. That was a quick. See, it took me a whole lot longer to clean mine than it was to clean yours. Hit the toes. <laughs> hit the undercarriage. Undercarriage for sure. And that's a wrap. Undercarriage, I might spend the most time on. No joke. You don't have any hair, though. I got curls. Undercarriage? No, on my head. I just said, I think I spend the most time on undercarriage, and you said, I got curls. I was talking about the top of my head. (laughs) (laughs) You idiot. Anyway, so here's the the thing. So we went to Vegas. I'm going to tell you this because this this correlates to the shower. First time I've ever been in a shower where it's got two nozzles that spit right at you. Oh boy! So that was that was pretty crazy. You got to learn that though. You got to get those. You got to get that, those those hoses were were full of cold water. You can't just step in and get those things blasting you. You got them run a little how bit. Was, how was that sweet, dude? Way? That sweet was sweet. I've stayed in that sweet before. I would be surprised. The green shag carpet. Yep. Just exact like exact same one, dude. It great view. Though we were at the construction expo. Just uh, my business partner and I, and like two other dudes. One other dude. Good time with that other dude. No, so, no, so, no, so, so, so you. Had, I'm just saying. I've sp- so, I've stayed in the room before. So you had two queens and a king. Two queens and then I had who the stayed king. where? I had the king room. Who stayed where? I had the king room, and the other two stayed in the two queen room. How come you got the king? I'm bigger than them. Oh, okay. You guys wrestle? Know. No. You know what I did. The room was sweet. The room was sweet for, but I think the flamingo, like everything else about the flamingo, is eh. eh. It, I mean, it's history. When it, I mean, when you're bringing a family, you got to go see the swans and the and the flamingos and all this out in the courtyard. That's kind of cool. But yeah. what I did, which is a feat, I want people to recognize this. Let's talk about your trip. I literally, like, we got when we flew in. Now here, you fly in. 
I got four kids with me, my wife, my mother-in-law, my two, my parent or my mom and my dad. Um, it's COVID. You wear this mask 24 seven, unless you're in your room, in your room, you don't wear the mask, but they make you wear it anywhere, everywhere, all the time. Again, not a big deal. You can drink here and there, but even if you're eating someplace, you got to take the mask down for a moment, eat a little bit, put the mask on. Um, which I was actually kind of thankful for when I went to Old Town because that's where you got to wear a mask even if there is no COVID. That's that's really the, they're 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 like they're you're not coming in here without a mask. Nothing on. you can't do anything. You could you couldn't do you couldn't do anything. I will tell you one thing about Old Town. If you want to drink, go ahead and go there and hit Fremont hit, Street. Hit Fremont because you're gonna order a for real. You're gonna order a vodka soda and they're gonna put a whole bottle of uh, vodka. Yeah, literally yeah. in like a 32 ounce cup and one drink for yeah. six bucks. So that's but but here's the thing. We brought the children. This is Jamie's idea. It's her birthday. Happy 40th to my wife. Happy November, birthday, Jamie. November 15th. Happy birthday, Jamie. Very happy for her. That was a very good idea. You know, the kids felt felt involved. It got so expensive, Joey. It got so darn Fremont expensive. Did? The everything. No. The, oh, all the kids wanted to do the zip line and the whole night. Well, we did the roller coaster. We did that. We went to the arcade. Dude, I'm telling you. Pizzas. For we watched Sunday night football where, where the where the Seahawks lost. That was a bummer. Seahawks lost. Yeah, that sucked. But was that to the Cardinals? Yeah, we're playing them again Thursday night, Arizona, uh, like November seventeenth. Um, but anyway, we're uh, we're in the suite watching the game. There's TVs everywhere. There's TVs behind the wet bar. There's TVs in the bathroom. There's TVs in the bedrooms. There's TVs everywhere. Got, got the game on. I actually had World Series on at the same time. That was kind of fun. But we ordered pizza, fifty dollars a pie. That was insane. I don't know. It just it just got too expensive. We did Top Golf that got expensive. I mean, it, but I got a hand pay. I want I want a thousand. Oh. I want a thousand dollars. Go get it, big dog. And it was like a little cheap bet too, like a dollar bet. Boom! All of a sudden, this lady's handing me cash. It was great. Did it? Did it? You have to th- throw it, the old social security. No, out? no, because no. I I was just under. I was just under. But they still had to pay it out. By hand. All right. That's enough of the Vegas trip. Put that. Just keep talking. Don't. Keep talking. Don't keep talking? No. Keep talking. Okay. All right. So we're going to bring in our first cougar. She is 59 years old. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, All right. So anyway, Vegas was fun. I can't wait to go back. We're going to go back here in the next uh, year or so. We're going to go back in, uh, you know, probably in a few months. And it's just going to be me and my wife. And I will probably Can never bring my kids. Sure, absolutely. Never bring your kids again. Never again. It's not a kid's place, right? I mean, it's not just that. It's I just mean, that there's it's just places, so things expensive. for them to do. Oh, they're the ones that broke you? But yeah. you dropping you, this. No. Uh, like, wait, 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 wait. Talk me through this. Okay. I can totally see how this is going to unfold. You, well, I brought my kids. Yeah. And we hit a, a – the buffets weren't open, right? No. So you got to take them to a regular restaurant. Yeah. So now we have to take our kids to a regular restaurant. every time we walk into a restaurant. 150 a pop. Yeah. Could have went in the slot machine. Okay. No, didn't, didn't go in a slot Did, machine. It didn't. I okay. wanted it to, okay. but it didn't. Didn't go in a slot machine. No. Next thing. Next get thing. Get your picture taken. Next thing. Get your picture taken. Yeah. They want 40. They want 40. Next Absolutely. Thing, next thing you know, let's hit the arcade. They're arcade. Not, hey, there's no 25 cent games in Vegas. No, the arcade is like, hey, come back behind this wall. Put your debit card in. While you're doing that, you see that big, uh, you know, that arcade game where they have the big mallet to see how long you, you know, you can slam it down and, and have it fly up and hit the bell and see how hard you are. They, Travis, go and put your nuts on that because we're gonna go and <laughs> smash the hammer yeah. down on you it. Put your nuts on that. That's exactly what it felt like when you're when you're taking money out when you're trying to pay for the kids to play Mario Kart and stuff they can play at home. But it was fun. I got a question for you. Wait, you're gonna okay. like this. Okay, you're, you're gonna like this. You're gonna like this. Go on. Cake wars. Cake Wars. I know what they are. I ordered a cake from Freed's Bakery, who is on Cake Wars. What'd that cost you? Hundred something. That's not bad. And it was all fond- not bad. fondant I would, or whatever. I would buy. I would spend that. No question. Like that's not the cake looked cool. I saw the picture. Yeah, yeah. Like that's. I mean, that's that's like you got to do. That's thirty five seconds in an arcade with your kids. <laughs> <laughs> it's very very accurate very accurate so all right anyway um i want to talk football okay yep what's so, the rock all right i you know 
I don't know if you play Madden football at all. I don't. But I play it. And I was playing it the other day, enjoying it, like I usually do. And one of, by the way, Steve Hutchinson's almost on my team. Going to get him on my team soon. Oh, I got you, Walter Jones oh, you can, you on You can mess team. around and get some alignment up there? Oh, yeah. Okay. I, I, and I, so I got, I got Walter Jones okay. on it. I got Hutchinson, in, and I got Kevin Maway. He's 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 on there right now. Kevin Maway or Kevin Maway? I say Maway because there's an E. <laughs> I think that you don't know shit. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Maway? Okay. But Kevin Maway, I've never heard of him. But a wee Maway. Sounds like he's a player. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Maway. Okay. From the University of? Uh, I know he was at the Jets forever, but... What university of who? I don't know. I just made it up. Yeah, see, I'm see, see if you're paying attention. Anyway, in this play, the type of uh, uh, the announcer says, "Man, I bet you the bet you the offensive lineman didn't like that call because you know they didn't look very confident in in their blocking." First off, in my head, I'm like, "That's major detail. That's major detail." To well, have the, the, like the commentator, the commentator about, on the video games, like nobody talks it, about. It that looks like the like offensive that. linemen weren't confident in their blocking uh, assignments. So let me ask you this: that that piqued a, cre- a question in my mind. Are you? Were you? If they called a play, were you ever in the huddle going, "Shit, I am not confident. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get around." You know, the this defender game. I'm going against. Well, not even that. No, no, because it wasn't back in the. I mean, there's designed runs where you pull off and you go this way or or this or that. Like, like you are, you're not going to just hit the guy in front of you all like every play. You're going to have no, to. Obviously, you go yeah. left, or right, well, right. So, was there any time where you was there a special play where you're like, crap, I've got to? Uh, were you a guard or a tackle? By the way, guard and center. Guard and center. The Garden Center. So you were over at Fred Meyer, the Garden Center. Um, <laughs> did, did, did you uh, – but so, yeah. So did you ever have confidence or no confidence? Well, the thing is, is like it comes down to steps, like your steps. So like there's – your steps will put you in the right position. So okay. So that's where your tech – which but the, by your steps, I mean technique. So – But when a play is called, were you ever like, crap – Certain sometimes for okay. sure, but like, you, what can you do? It's either going to work or it's not. At some point, the running back has to work Figure off it out of what they're doing, like what you what they got, right? And so, like a good running back will say, like, okay, I'm supposed to be here, but that's not there. But look to the left, and there it is. And so they would hit it and go. But like, there's definitely like when you say like the look, nervous about a play like a great defensive lineman in front of me that's super fast off the ball or whatever and they want us to go uh, play the left side or center and like you want to go way right and they're not necessarily in where i need to be like that comes down to technique like you have to like take your step and like one of the best quotes and one of the best coaching things i've ever had in my life was like as a football player, as an offensive lineman, you all, everybody always thinks you don't want to lose ground. You're going to get beat if you lose ground. One of the best coaches that ever taught me anything was basically he was just like, sometimes you have to lose ground to gain ground. So take your false step. Go go way back. Lose, lose a yard so you can get your head in the proper position to give the running back the best possibility to get to where he's got to go. And like from, ever since that happened, like that like changed my whole outlook on like, the steps I being okay to with to like do whatever you know so was there any time where you were like pumped about a play like they called the play in the huddle and you're like hell yeah this is the exact play that we need oh, dude, right now when they used to call when they honestly when they used to call like you know obviously you work the plays all week long right you know, you, you know, know your game your plan. First, you know, yeah, like what yeah, they're gonna do. Right. You like, you know, like whatever. But truth be told, like there was a playing guard, not center, obviously. But when you played guard, they would like. There was a certain place where I would like pull, like a counter play. Right, I would pull, and so basically what they would do is they would send. I played left side, so as a guard, I would open up and run to the right right side, and the tackle on that far side would like kind of show at that guy 
and then go the opposite way. So that guy was literally like a blocking dummy standing there. <laughs> and so you could literally like light people up. Yeah. Although there's been multiple times where they've seen it on film or like whatever. Yeah. And um, you would get, you would like, they would know the player. They would know yeah. whatever. And so they could like wrong shoulder you or do some different things to like kind of disrupt it. But yeah. like certain times, like literally you'd, come running on a full sprint and they would think that like they didn't know what was going on and they would just give you their full chest and it was like a freight train coming through it was like <laughs> the best thing ever all right so so but was you never probably because you were a guard or in a center you probably never had to do the old like i'm i'm registering i'm checking in as a possible wide receiver did you no in the real league you had to Oh, did you? Yeah, because the the tight end always had to declare what side they were on. But did you, but did you have to? Like you never did, right? Nah, in certain situations, but not not very often. No. Did you ever uh, get an offensive fumble? Offensive fumble, fall on a ball, like b- ball gets bad snap, and you had to jump on it or any of that crap. Dude, I thought I was I should have had multiple touchdowns, but like the ball would like <laughs> pop out or like this and that and I'd be like, okay, this is my ball. This just happened the other day, like last weekend in a game. Like an old lineman from like Cleveland dove on a ball and he was like pumped he got his first touchdown. Yeah. Not the case. Like they called it back or like oh, yeah, yeah. like we always get screwed. Yeah. Like yeah, I felt but like when I played in on the defensive line. Yeah. There was time I remember specifically, probably like the only time I could ever score a touchdown, like in my whole career. We were playing at Auburn in Auburn, Memorial Stadium, not far from here. And I blazed Wait, you're talking about high school. Yeah. Okay. High school. <laughs> that's the only time I could have scored one. <laughs> oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah. Um and they dude, like I go through Sack the quarterback, the ball hits the ground, Strip sack, nobody's boom. around. Boom. And I'm like bear crawling. Get up. <laughs> I get up. I get up. And we're like maybe on like the seven, eight, nine, ten yard line. Like not far, but the ball's ripping towards their end zone. I land on it, touchdown, right? So I'm literally like, it's like maybe at the five yard line. And I go to like scoop and score. Like a DB comes right underneath me, grabs the ball and scores. I'm like, you your on your on your yes, team. Yes. Do you know who it was? Yes. Do you know who it was? Yes. Can you say his name? Seth Loop. <laughs> dude, Seth Loop, shout out to Seth Loop. He listens. He's a good dude. dude, dude like, yeah, he's, he aced me on that one. I was like, you mother <laughs> trucker. I was so pissed. Did he know it too? No, he was just going for all his stats. So all right, so here here we go. We got another one for you. That's good. That's a great story. That was it was so I was so pissed about that. Uh in college though, I don't I never had any like eh, close but not like I was gonna scoop and score type. Right, though. right. So definitely not in the NFL as O line. Well, I just didn't know maybe if you fell on it. But but okay, here's the next one. I've had the pop ups hand jump in my oh, hand yeah. and I had to run it. That's well not the pop ups, but have you ever done the whole I'm you you got your hand up, defensive your de- defensive yeah. player. Uh, hand up, you're going to swat it, and it just like... Stops. Boom. Did you ever get one of those like no. weird Never du- had one double hand? Like, whoa. Never had one of those, but I've had the, I've had the ones where... Uh, you know what's crazy is like, we... F- I feel like I'm a... Like, at the time, like when you're in your prime and like you're playing as offensive lineman, you're like, I could... Like, you think as a kid, like, grab that rock and run that thing? Right. It's a whole other animal when it really happens, dude. Like, like you. It's moving so fast. You're blocking oh, or whatever, yeah. or you're like a you're like a, out ahead of the running back or whatever, and you're running down yeah. the field, and like the guy gets hit, and you turn around, the ball just pops in your hands, and you take off running. How awkward does it look for an <laughs> offensive lineman to run the ball? Yeah. Okay, and they just like rumble it. He's rumbling. He's and they've been stumbling. playing football. They were a wide receiver at some point. He's rumbling. they were a tight end He's at some point. Stumbling. Yeah, yeah. And you just get your knees taken out. Like <laughs> no good. Like yeah. Hey, two point conversions and stuff like that. When the game's on the line, what are you feeling? Do you have ice in the veins? Are you ready to rock? Or are you like two sh- point? Oh, like, you got it. Like I'm talking about any any time the game's on the line. Like this is the last play. Especially if you're the center or someone like that, could have. Were you ever? You were. Were you ever a long snapper ever? No, that's a that's a that is a uh, very talented deal. Like those balls are coming in, hurt your hands when they hit you at 15 yards away. That's tough. 
I mean, I know how to do it and I got pretty good at it, but it was never my deal. Kids, if you're listening and you want to go to the NFL, long learn how to long snap. Snapper. You go get make, an old tire, you hang will, it from a tree. You will make just, a lot of money. <laughs> you will make a lot of money if you're good at it. A lot. A lot of money. Uh, but yeah, ice in the veins where you like, we got we to gotta score here. Like, what's... Could you tell the nervous Nelly in the in? Uh, there's got to be a nervous Nelly in the huddle. Like, there's got to be someone who's like, "Oh, guys, we got to get this." Like, well, you can kind of sense, like, you can sit, uh, you can probably sense it on TV or like whatever. Like, oh man, we got to get this. We got to do this. We got to do whatever. But with that being said, like, as you line up in these different situations, like, especially like goal line, like you're talking about, or first down attempt, or right. whatever that looks like. They're going to give you everything up front. So, uh, you know, on like a regular play, you might have three guys on the line and three linebackers or four guys on the line and two linebackers or three got three linebackers, four guys on the line, however that looks, right? But as a field gets shorter, and by when I, when I say the field gets shorter, you're getting closer to the end zone. Yeah. So you don't have to spread your DBs out as much, your defensive backs out as much. You don't have to, everything's right. tighter. So when you get to a goal line stance, like they got everybody right there. So it's super hard to score, and you know, unless you have a trick player, or unless you're dialed in, or whatever that looks like. But yeah, dude, you know what you got to do. I don't think that I've ever had any nervous whatever you were saying. Nervous Nelly. Nervous Nellies. I don't think that. I just think that it's just like somebody's gonna win. It's either gonna be them or us. Like why not right. us? Like not right? Us? Like so you go out there. Like you know, we 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 we. It's like literally that is like. Close contact, like straight combat. So you played before Russell, mm-hmm. and you just said, "Why not us?" Yeah. Did he get that from you? He did. I knew it. He did. He did. No. Um. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Last thing, because I want to talk about the huddle. Okay. I don't know if you guys watched this Monday Night Football, Golden Tate playing New York on the Giants. He scores a touchdown, garbage time, but he yells in the camera throw me the ball that's what you get okay fast forward a couple days he goes on twitter he says they need to throw me the ball no wait his wife says on twitter they need to throw golden the ball his wife said that on twitter they need to throw they're not throwing him the ball enough the next day after that was gone on twitter he wasn't at practice Oh, he's holding out now. Well, or the talk is maybe that's a little disciplinary. Like you, your family, you know, you don't say any of that. You don't critique the coaches on on a social outlet like that. But have yeah, you been? Why would a wife? How often? How who is interviewing the wife? By the way, about she just that? Tweet, she just tweeted it. Oh, she tweeted. Yeah. It. So, uh, if you are, or how often in a game? You get in the huddle where there's a wide receiver chirping at the quarterback. Bro, I'm open every play. Bro, I'm open. Bro, I'm open on the left side. Bro, I'm open. We don't or, see or do it. they not get say it. that? No, 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 no. They do. There's Yeah, every team I've played on, you get that. But I don't – like, I can't, like, weigh in on that. Like, I can't – I don't see what – they see, you know what I mean, until I watch the film. Like, I'm in the I'm in But the is trenches. it good annoying? Is it good annoying? I'm in the trenches. Well – that's between them. Like it's the same thing. Like that'd be the same thing as like me saying like, "You, you should have rolled right, but you rolled left." So I pushed my guy left, and you got sacked. Like you know what I mean? It's the same similarity in that sense as far as like why I don't know what they're doing. You know your routes. You know what you guys are gonna do. I don't know their routes. What about the dissatisfaction? Because you'll see like a Philip Rivers or, or like even a Tom Brady. They'll like they'll 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 make. Might have been some miscommunication here and there between him and the receiver, the quarterback and the receiver. But they'll also kind of give a look like, you dumbass. Like, why would you break right there? Uh, or like, and, th- and then he throws this interception when it was kind of a floater. He was throwing, like, or 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 even this. When a quarterback is getting steamrolled, they've given, like, the offensive line has given up six sacks or something like that, five sacks. Where th- th- does a quarterback, like, Oh, quarterback. Dude, I remember. Quit it. I remember right. literally, like, there's been games where, like, college, 
Yeah. What like college in particular? Like we're talking, and like literally, like he was just getting steamrolled, and he'd come to the huddle, and like literally, I, like me, like I was embarrassed for our whole line, and I'm sure I, I let it through too. But like that aura in there, excuse me, the aura of the huddle, like you know that this dude's getting his ass handed to right. him. Literally getting his ass handed to him. <laughs> and like he's coming in there with a positive attitude, like this and that. And it's like, I'm like, oh, buddy. But like I like I'm pissed off at myself. Like right. maybe I let one through, maybe I didn't, but like it's like play after play after play, whether it's my side, left, right side, tackle, guard, center, like whatever it is, right. he's just getting tattooed. Blitz coming off the edge, like whatever that looks like. And you're just like, I don't know. Like we can only go off of like what our scheme is and like what like we're supposed to do, like you know, like what do you do? Right. Mm. Mm. November seventh, cool. seven seven thirty. Cougar football Saturday. Are you? Are you? Can you feel it? Yeah, I feel it in my veins. Does it? How good did it feel at Pac twelve uh, that? The Huskies got their, got, got, right their got their game canceled. Oh, did you hear about that? I just read that. <laughs> Guess who can't go to college football championships? Cal and U Dub. Maybe U Dub and Cal are out. They only got six games. You're not even eligible. Oh, oh, they don't even get to make them up. You so basically, you guys have to make it all. <laughs> <laughs> Go Cougs! <laughs> Things are looking up for the Cougs. Oh my god! Not that we were worried about them bitches, anyways. But hey, so Oregon State, Oregon State, seven thirty. Articles I'm reading. Oregon State is so. Here's the thing: Pack Pack Twelve. Prior to all this, Cougs were picked, being picked dead last. Dead last. I'm not worried about that. No pressure. No ball out. Let's go. go hard let's go we got rollo we got a whole new offense here's the thing here's the thing here's the thing people that are listening right now nobody knows what that offense or that defense is going to look like i've done a lot of research and what i've seen and what i've heard from the defensive players is that this is a defense you have not seen before yes this is something that's totally different offensively this is going to be totally different than what you've seen from the least yes. game this is something that nobody can counter on and know. If, so here's the thing. After this Oregon State game, Oregon is the next game, and they're going to have to try to figure out what they're what, doing. What, what's and, happening. But here's the kicker right. to this whole thing. If they can execute what they're doing that nobody knows about. I'm not saying nobody's ever seen it before, but I'm saying nobody's ever seen it coming from Washington State University or the Cougs. So with that being said – to go out there and start throwing different things at like they all got to learn and watch this film and see what they're going to do. So Oregon State, this article is saying, or, or, uh, Oregon State, all they've been doing for the most part Air is raid? watching film. Oh, they're watching Hawaii film on Rolo. Not, yes, yes, they're watching Hawaii film on Rolo. Not that's all they're doing. In yeah, fact, but the defense they're, no, they're is different. They're even too. watching the freshman quarterback. They're watching the freshman quarterback. Too. How crazy that the Cougs got a freshman quarterback, dude! Coming straight out of high school, who knows how when his when, when if he, I mean COVID didn't really hit until you know February. Think if, you're, think if you're the oh, think let's talk let's let's flip the script real quick. Okay, think if you are the senior or the fifth year senior that came in with Leach and worked your way up the ranks, which you know you got some clout there, right? Like Leach is not bringing any slouches, right? Mm-hmm. And then Rolo comes in and it's like, mm, we're starting a freshman. Can you transfer at that point or are you screwed? You're screwed. You're screwed at least for this year. I understand where Rolo's coming from though right. at that point. Like if I'm coming in, it's my for dynasty or games, my era or like dude, whatever that yeah. looks like. I want somebody that I'm going to be able to depend on for right. the next four or five years. Exactly. And if, and if you're going to depend on them, this is like a preseason for the for that for no the, for next year, yeah, he's like screw it, no skin off art, like absolutely, chin, like whatever. If yeah, hopefully they get to six games, they could have they could be in the same boat as, oh, as buddy, the Huskies. We're going to the championship. <laughs> Mark my words. Hey, Joe Joey Holbert, Joey. son of 
Billy Joe Hobart on the Cougars. On the Cougs. What do you think about that? I think he finally got his shit together. <laughs> Joey Herbert? Uh, Holbert. 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 Billy Joe Holbert's son. Billy Joe Holbert's son. Yeah, and, finally, the family figured it out. Good as a tr- uh, good as a true fr- freshman, and that's the thing. What I what I'm hearing is that you're gonna have a ton. Like you start, you started it, a ton of true freshmen in this in in, right. in this. Why this why are all the quarterbacks going to Wazoo? Uh, you tell me. Well, think about it. Like Leach is like basically producing like at the time Leach was basically producing like right nonstop like Minshew and all like, that Minshew yeah. like right. everybody right so. How about the? Can we talk about the Minshew wait. story real quick? Yeah, that is nuts. So wait, wait. Let's back this up real quick. So they were getting all these quarterbacks coming in because of Leach. Leach right. leaves, but like, here's the thing: like, goes to oh, those he, Mississippi State or do whatever. Do you have any idea? Like when I was in college, there was three to four quarterbacks. When Leach was there, there was like seven to nine quarterbacks on the team because he's pumping them out. Well, yeah, but everybody wants a shot at that air raid. Yeah, at the time, like, right. who knows what he has at Texas Tech or wherever the hell he's at now. Okay, but you got a ton of true freshmen coming in, coming in. Yeah, are you worried? Who was the first true freshman to start on the D line since 1978? I know this. Um, no, don't know it. Me. Joey Hollenbeck. We got it. But here's the thing: well, you're talking about freshmen. That's why I asked. So true freshmen though, here's the thing. They're gonna be you're gonna have other true you're gonna have a ton of true freshmen in this class, is what is what they're saying. I think so too. Are you as a coach, are you like are you No, I think it's a short season. I think that it's like Are you excited if you're a coach you, right now? Are you excited just I, to know what you can do to I mold think it? Like I think as Rolo being a brand new coach coming in, like and putting his stuff to work, mm-hmm. like my thought process is like this. Like who cares? It's a short season. Like you're not playing eleven games. You're not playing twelve games. You're not you're not playing eleven games, right? Pac twelve, you play eleven games, you're gonna have a one by, like whatever. You're playing six games. You might as well see where you stand. Whether you come in dead last or you come in first and win the championship, you might as well air it all out there. Just go for it. Yeah, why not? Now are you cutting like right now, not cutting people, but like Cam and Cooper, high recruit, supposed to just be just a great, great player for the Cougars, not panning out. Are you taking him to the side and you putting these other guys in front of him? Go, you going at this point at that point? Or are you letting him kind of play it out and see how he goes? I don't know. I think time will tell. I'd let him play it out and see how things go. But, I don't but, know. I but just, how quick is that? I mean, what's a regular season? It's so quick. You only got six weeks. You got six weeks. I'll tell you who's going to be crazy this year. Okay. Borgie. Borgie. Is that the, is that the kicker? Yeah. No, it's a running back. <laughs> he's kidding. like he's like a young McCaffrey, bro. The kid's a freak, a f- absolute freak. He's gonna roll. He's you said he's gonna roll. I'm gonna tell you this right now. Yeah, prediction. Yes. What? How are we at? What, what time are we at? Two more minutes. Okay. Predict. Predict this. Tell me. Give me your predictions on the Coug game. OSU against Oregon State this weekend. Point wise, go. Cougs haven't been seen. They Oregon have. State could be amazing. I don't know, but okay. So speak at, it. once once again, let's just rather than look at this game. I like it. Let's go with the next three games. Three games. No, we can't. We don't even know what anybody looks like. Right. What, now. what I'm saying is three games. You want me to predict all three? No, no. no. What are they getting? One win out of that? Yes or no? With Cougs? Yeah. The, unbiased. Are the Cougs getting one win out of that? I think they beat Oregon State. Oregon's going to be a push. Maybe Oregon. It's hard to say. I think we're going to take Stanford. So you so I think so you say three. You see, so or two and one, two two and one, two yeah, out yeah, of three. Yeah, two okay. out of three. Uh, so biggest. I odds. don't know anything about any of these teams though. That's what's hard to see. You give me one week to look at these teams, I can tell you what I think. But I'm I'm just shoot. I'm just pissing in the wind. Right so now. right now it's kind of a guess yeah, because we have no one's seen it. Right? right. So are you going to be? Crunching the game film a little bit for our next our next no go around no to see how they're going to do against uh, no okay question so all right so I'm going to go just because it's going to be fun yeah it's going to be fun I'm going to I'm going to root for the Cougars no you don't have to please 
Don't. I'd rather you not because you're fair weather. What? Well, no. You're fair weather. Not at all. Big Cougar fan. Borgie, dude. Cam and Cooper. Did I not know? The, like, who's the coach? You don't even know who the coach You thought it was Mike Leach like five minutes ago. I, said, I had to remind you. I was talking you. about the quarterback. I had to remind man. you. It's Rolo. Go. Do you think he eats Rolos on the sidelines? <laughs> I would. <laughs> those are delicious. <laughs> I haven't had one of those in years. Everyone, give us your give us your picks. Let us know who, who you think. Give us your questions, too. We're going to break down uh, some of it. So next week, what you're going to have is us talking about the past game and then looking forward to the next game. Stay with us. Build the momentum. Let's go Cougs. Go Cougs. Champions. Already a leg up on the everybody. Huskies. All right, everyone. Oh, yeah, we already beat the Huskies. Them bitches can't even get in the college championship. <laughs> you know how many of my Husky friends, hey. they are so mad right now. Hey. <laughs> so mad right now. Tell them to quit mouth kissing without their mask on. <laughs> <laughs> everyone, thanks for listening. I appreciate you. And, uh, Joey, great seeing you. Love you guys. Take Go care. Go Cougs. Go Cougs.